Hey friends, Ryan Dorn, your sales coach here, answering listener questions. Keep them coming in, ryan at ryandorn.com. All right, here's a question from Dallas, who lives in Dallas, Texas. So Dallas from Dallas, it's pretty cool. All right, uh, Dallas asks, Ryan, you talk about three pricing options a lot. Where does this pricing philosophy come from? Uh, Dallas, great question. So I've done a lot of research online about the science behind how people behave and what drives them to make the decisions that they ultimately make. Typically, when you give somebody one option, you've got about a 50-50 chance that they're gonna choose one or the other. When you add just two options to the occasion, actually, it, it shifts dramatically. What happens is, now that they've got two options to choose from, you know, it kind of shifts to a more of a 60% chance that you're not gonna get the business because now you've just confused the circumstance. Now, what I've really found, though, in 30 years of sales and marketing is the three-option formula work works. Everything that I've seen online, every piece of research indicates that three options focuses people on that middle option. It's sort of, I like to call it the Goldilocks principle. My porridge is too hot. My porridge is too cold. My porridge is just right. It's been well documented over the course of history, time, etc., that everything happens, it happens in threes is very powerful. So I try to use three words in my subject lines, three sentences in my emails. I try to make sure that my proposals are three pages or less. And then I really focus in on three pricing options because everything leads me to the understanding that middle option it always, almost always resonates with somebody. But here's the other thing. You might've heard on my podcast uh, that I did not that long ago, uh, Dallas, that I focused in on 100 proposals, 50 that lost business, 50 that won business. And what we found is greater than 65% of those proposals that had three pricing options closed business. The majority of the losing proposals that didn't earn business were greater than nine pages, didn't have pricing options, and had way too much text. So that's why I believe in those three pricing options. If you happen to be in the media business, I like to say there's a presence option, a competitive option, and a dominant option. But I really believe in those three pricing options. And Dallas from Dallas, I hope you will believe in them too. So there's the philosophy. All right, friends, thanks for all your questions. Keep them coming in to me. Ryan at Ryan Dorn. Dorn.com. Visit my website, ryandorn.com. Find out how I can help you and I can help your team. All right, friends, we'll see you next time.